And Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass. Diba? Actually po, pag tinignan natin, mga simpleng utos nga lang po eh. Diba? Sometimes mga simpleng utos lang. Yung pag-attend lang po sa church eh, nalelate pa po ang maraming mga mana ng palataya. Ha? Wala pong ano ha, wala pong anak na i-offer na pinakasakripisyo. Diba? Kasi kung ganun po, maaaring maisip mo, hirap naman ang hinihingi ng Panginoon. Yung kaisa-isang anak, ang tagal naming hinintay, tapos i-offer ko sa kanya. Maaaring magkanda late-late po siya dahil sa pagdadalawang isip kung i-offer ba niya o hindi. Pero anong sabi po? And Abraham rose up early in the morning. Gumising pa siya ng maaga and saddled his ass and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son and claimed the wood for burnt offering and rose up and went unto the place which God had told him. And on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw place afar off. Okay, tayo po. Pag nakita natin malayo, puro excuses na yan eh. Diba? Naku, anak ko, tagal kong kinasabikan yan. Diba? Ito, ang tagal kong pinagtrabawuhan ito. Uh, sa, sa kalagayan namin ngayon, ginto ang bawat uh, sweldo. Mahira para sa akin yan. Or masasabi po natin kung ano man yung mga specific na pinagagawa ng Panginoon. So dito, nung makita niyang malayo, pwedeng ikatwira na naman yun. Ang layo naman, pwede naman mag-offer kahit saan na lang. Eh. <laughs> diba? Pwede naman siguro mag-offer na lang sa Diyos kahit saan. Pero sabi po, malinaw. Diba? Verse number 4, Then on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again unto you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son and took the fire in his hand and a knife. And they went both of them together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father and said, My father. And he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. And they came to the place which God had told him of. And Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, said Abraham Abraham and he said here am I and and he said lay not thine hand upon the lad neither do thou anything unto him for now I know that thou fearest God seeing that thou hast not withheld thy son thine only son from me and I Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked And behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns and Abraham went and took the ram and offered him for offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh. As it is said today, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. Mga kapatid, let us again learn from this story. Hindi kailangan yung mga excuses. Alam ng Diyos ang kanyang plano. Alam ng Diyos ang gusto niyang mangyari. Alam ng Diyos yung ipinagagawa niya sa atin. So, when God guides, di ba? He provides. Eh, where God guides, He provides. Kapag ka po, saan ka dadali ng Panginoon, di ba? So, kung ano yung ipagagawa sa iyo ng Panginoon, so, siya mismo ang magpo-provide. Pag tinawag ka niya, siya magbibigay ng kakayahan. Pag ginabayad ka niya, pag ginabayan ka niya, ha, siya ang magpo-provide, ang magbibigay ng kung ano man ang ating pangangailangan.